When sectioning, our goal is to cut out a suitably sized sample from a larger component or part at the desired location and orientation. Correct sectioning is vital to target a representative area, ensure minimal damage, and establish a planar surface. In most circumstances, this is best done with a metallographic cutter. These cutters are designed to help users minimize mechanical and thermal damage. Proper sectioning also helps minimize time spent during grinding and polishing. The most commonly used sectioning device in a metallographic laboratory is the abrasive cutter. These cutters often have large cutting chambers, ample motor power, robust cooling systems, and most importantly, abrasive blades. These blades consist of abrasive particles and a binder. As the blade rotates, sharp abrasives cut the material. When the abrasives dull, they break away from the binder, exposing more fresh abrasive particles. This allows the cutter to cut materials quickly. Most cutters are designed to have the fastener holding the blade tighten as the blade rotates. Because the fastener tightens as the blade rotates, we must be careful not to over tighten the fastener when installing the blade, as it will make it difficult to remove the blade in the future. Before cutting, samples must be securely vised in the cutter. If the sample moves during the cut, this can cause the blade to bend and break. When the proper blade is selected, in most cases, cutting through the sample should require little load on the handle for manual machines or low motor current for automatic machines. Information on blade recommendations can be found on Bueller's website. When cutting through tougher materials, using post-action cutting is helpful. This helps the blade refresh abrasive more often and allows it to cut through tougher materials more effectively. Automatic cutters usually have a pulse mode. When using a manual machine, alternate between applying moderate load to little to no load every second. After cutting through a sample with a manual cutter, slowly lift the blade out of the sample. For more information, please visit www.buehler.com.